Hey everybody, um, before we drag our RV to Belize, we are going to get a new roof on it. And not just any roof, we are getting a, uh, actually a sprayed on roof. The product name is Flex Armor. Correct. And it's a really awesome uh, process. They essentially spray on a material I guess it's chemically similar to bed liner material, but it's a special formulation that's perfectly suited to roofs. And our interest in it is that it uh, seals in everything on your roof. It, it doesn't have the potential to break down like the, the factory roll rubber uh, roofing does. Our RV is in really nice shape, but it is definitely older and um, with the prospect of limited RV supplies and uh, tropical storms, etc., we really want to get this done before we take it down to Belize. <laughs> the, we're here at Carl's shop. This is Carl Young. His company is TXRVRoof.com, and he is uh, a licensed uh, application location for the Flex Armor roof system. And he's closest to us, and uh, we've been talking to him here for over a month about some of the details of our project and actually scheduling this. So, and he's going to tell us a little bit about it uh, because I'm only able to retain so much. I've actually kind of studied this a lot, but uh, he's better at it. So, what differentiates yours from anybody else trying to do a sprayed roof? Okay, so Flex Armor is the original sprayed on. Um, RV roof, so it's the original. So everything out after that is um, a different version of a polyurea spray. Polyurea spray. So Flex Armor is a polyurea spray, but it's pure polyurea. So if you're looking at a Rhino line type material, that is a polyurea hybrid. And, and the way to think about that is they're a two part chemical just like we are, but ours is a pure chemical. Theirs is an A and B mixture. And so think of it like an epoxy. You have one that's the actual chemical and one that is the actual hardener. And so if you spray that in a damp humidity one day and then spray it the next day and it's hot and dry, those two roofs are different because that hardener reacts different based on the humidity. The way ours works is our spray works whether it's raining outside, it's cold outside, it's hot, doesn't matter. It's a pure chemical reaction that happens between the two chemicals. And so our roof, regardless of when it's sprayed or where it's sprayed, is the same from one roof to another. Right. And so that's the big difference is when you start looking at sprayed on applications, our chemical is far superior than the other one. And it's also the application that you're gonna get the most consistency out of. Yeah. So we unscrew this, we'll probably take this whole thing down, put stainless steel back in there, and then right, make a smooth transition from here to here. Slick. And then that's what he's got for your solar panel. You can adjust, you can maneuver this down or as high oh, as, yeah. as you want, but that'll give you the... So is this just to protect it from cracking? So I think that's what they told me. Yeah, about, yeah, so... Yeah, you put this second layer over the top so that so that if something hits this, it's going to Because if this one were to crack, one, that one. we're going to have a heck of a time replacing right. it because you're those. putting you're all of the the roofing material over the top of it. Correct. We'll probably, I generally do at least like two fingers so yeah. you'll have that spray line. Mm -hmm. kind of go oh, that here. goes up really high, okay. Yeah, and that just keeps it waterproof, right? So yep. Like There's some of the caulk has been cut out. Yep. So this here was laying on there. It was held down here and it was held down there, but there was a lot of, it was loose here. Yeah. And that was probably pre-bent, I would assume. Yeah. They set it on, it didn't perfectly conform and they expected and that and they weren't worried about and it and they just caulk. gooped it with caulk. Yeah. And then you can feel here too, like they, they found a tree. Yeah, this was, this got hit by a tree. They, they had, there was a bunch of patches. Actually, everywhere you see this, there was a patch. It, it, it had, 
yeah. on the hip. on this stuff. This it been hit by a tree. On the aluminum. Yeah. Was from that's from somebody putting caulk on your roof and it went through. Those are all holes. Well, we're trying to make a spot where in theory you could remove that. If you want to, we are. We're going to take that off the top. So we'll leave it on the side there, coming up about five inches, about an inch or two beyond this on the top. Okay. In here. Yeah. We'll cut that all the way across. I'll screw your fiberglass down to the top and then yeah. the spray it in. Cool. There's just no, yeah. Right. Sometimes we leave it, sometimes we don't, but I mean, if well, I it's going like to be ugly, saying, we'll take it. On this one, like he was saying that this, uh, this insert trim, if this hadn't been filled with caulk, you just put that in and then that would spray over nice. But in this case, it's it, all full of this nasty caulk. It look so. So, sometimes it's just not worth it to save it. But if it's going to look okay, we're just not going to send a product out. If you get up and say, oh, that's, that's just no, you know, it's going to be covered. It's going to stick. We just want to make it look aesthetically pleasing as we can, right? Yeah. That seems brilliant that they put a seam right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they don't, yeah. Did you find any bad wood? Not wood, not yet. Mm -mm. We, uh, we haven't looked up underneath here completely yet. We've just cut it back so we could do some. We want to, we've got to spray this one today. So we, we started on. Oh, it's like bowed up here, here a little bit. Down here, you see he's putting the tape and paper. Yeah. We usually don't do this till near the end, but we have to spray this one. So we want to cover yours up. So it's wet right here. I think it yeah. was. We may have to cut, we may just cut this whole thing out. So if, if the wood is still really So we've good never rotten, sprayed on top of this chemical. Mm -hmm. What's that? We've never sprayed on top of this before. Yeah, I don't, I wouldn't recommend it. Well, you don't know I what's going to happen. Well, there's, there's two things that can happen. <laughs> one, everything's great. Oh. <laughs> Two, if there's moisture in there, what happens is, um, because we hit it at like 200 degrees, it will steam hot. Yeah. yeah, so it instantly turns that water to steam, and then that steam comes rushing out. Sure. And, and what happens is then you have all these little holes from the steam escaping, right? And so um, what we'll probably end up doing is being on the safe side, cut all this out, and then we'll do that. Our, our um, primer and our wood primer okay. covers any moisture that we got. We don't put particle board back in on there. We got plywood. That we'll, uh, we'll cut that out. Put plywood down. So, how much of that AC shroud is going to come off? That whole thing. Like it's already on, it's already detached from your. Uh, and then there's like look. a lip underneath. So it, it has a uh, bolts on the inside. Like he, he, yeah. So. Oh. Yeah. Oh wow, okay. okay. So we'll just we'll cut this out, spray around the wood, and we'll, mm -hmm. we'll put a new we'll put new gaskets all over it. Oh okay. Lay it back down. Yeah, so apparently they're gonna spray over the, the upper trim here. But uh, we just thought and, and they've already re replaced this snap in trim. But um, this is the old that was in there and actually this is all I think some of this might be adhesive or but I think most of this is actually dirt that has filtered in through the cracks and and settled and it's all so, cracked and brittle yeah, this and is this stuff kind of snaps into the track there that's what you're looking at so we've got new on but it's the roofing material is actually going to go over it so yeah, it's going to be completely sealed with the roofing material yep like a kind of a warranty on this, right? Like forever. forever warranty. They'll I'd... just hop on a plane down to Belize and fix it right up for us. <laughs> well, no, I think that I think my. <laughs>
Yeah, this looks beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love it. There's no. Not really good. There's just just about. There's really no evidence of hail damage, unless uh, you know what we know. And, and then, and then you have to. We know all the secrets of that tree. And and then you have to look really, 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 really hard. No, I can see. No, yeah. All right, it turned out really well. Yeah, it did. All right. Be okay. arguably a little bit thicker at that edge, right? Just because of the way you apply it. For sure. Yeah. yeah. Because it's the, a corner. the thickest part of your spray. It's not going to be the edges. It's going to be. You remember how sunk that was? Look how good that looks. That corner up there. I really sprayed. If you notice, I was spraying all over those really well. This spot right here. What are we saying? This, remember the this thickest. spot that had the patch? Oh yeah, remember that right there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I was that looking one. at that. That looks really. Sh I'm proud of that. Yeah. Sometimes you don't get them great. That yeah, it's visible, good. but I mean, it's it looks good. Yeah, yeah, but all the way out here when we cut it, it's very nice uh -huh. to see. Yep. So that's where your thickest parts are going to be. I love this stuff. Like right now, it's a little bit warm on my feet. Uh, you you're up there sock foot, aren't you? Yeah, but I, oh yeah, I'm not going to put my shoes on here right now. We're fixing this place in top coat, so. So when you say top coat, you're talking about the UV. The UV, yes. Yeah, sir. and that'll be white. Mm -hmm. But that's what color call put in the bucket. Yeah, yeah, it was it was white today. <laughs> it was white today. <laughs> Last thing, huh? Last part and then we just clean up. Good deal. You can see how thick it is. This right here is actually the edge. So it goes on pretty thick. That's thicker than, that's thicker than they're gonna do um, everywhere, but uh, it goes pretty thick everywhere as I understand it.